been a lot of talk this morning about Social Security and, and the President's ideas around change CPI, and you recently just said that that was put in at the request of, of, of my leadership and, and Senate leadership, and I want to focus on that a bit because the impression could be left that Social Security is not part of our debt problem. And I'll start off by first acknowledging that uh, there are several reasons for our debt problem. Three uh, uh, main drivers are Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. Now, a fourth driver is the net interest we continually, uh, that continues to grow and that we continue to owe ourselves and other countries, countries that don't necessarily have our best interests in mind, but theirs. And I just read this morning that over the next several decades, Mr. Zients, you know, that interest payment, okay, money that we can't spend on anything else but give it away for the contractually for uh, the money we're getting now in credit uh, could reach $900 billion. Uh, Mr. Uh, Doug Elmendorf, uh, Director of CBO, I know you know, uh, was here in your seat a couple weeks ago, and we talked about whether or not Social Security was actually driving any of these deficits or debt. And I want to quote for the record and then have you respond to it. Uh, in responding, I believe, to the chair, Mr. Almendorf said, well, again, Congressman, on a unified budget basis, taking account of just the tax revenues, the dedicated tax revenues, and the benefits, it is contributing to the deficit now. If one instead had just the balance in the Social Security Trust Fund, that balance is, the annual balance is positive now, but will be negative within about a half dozen years. Do you acknowledge that? Do you agree with that? No, I, I think that Social Security is not a driver of our near-term fiscal situation. That's not what um, I am. Not near-term fiscal situation. The trust fund of our is solvent. And debt. The trust fund is solvent through 2033, and the trust fund is acting exactly as, as it was designed to do. But and you talked earlier about manufactured crises and crises that you had to deal with. Why wait for this crisis? I think the President uh, has, uh, has reiterated in budget after budget his um, uh, desire to do Social Security reform. But let's be clear, that's a different path, a different track from our current <laughs> deficit uh, discussions. Right now, we should be doing the $1.8 trillion uh, deficit reduction path, uh, package that's in the President's budget. And uh, once we get that behind us, Social Security reform could be part of the next conversation. Uh, while we're talking about the drivers of our debt, let me ask you about Medicaid. You indicate you talked about Medicaid in the budget, and at least you acknowledge that um, there can be some um, reforms made there. And I think you focus most on the waste, fraud, and abuse, which I would agree with you is important. Uh, but that's about all you do. Um, do you think that Medicaid? Uh, is part of our deficit and debt problem. Medicaid um, provides uh, needed health care to tens of millions of people. As you know, it's a partnership with the states. Uh, it uh, works well. Uh, we are supportive of... I'll stop you there. It works well. Meaning it provides... And you want to increase it, much you want to increase it by a third, I think you said. Well, that. it's part of expanding coverage of the ACA. Over. Absolutely. Now, the cost it, per Medicaid um, beneficiary on a per capita basis is actually quite, the increase has been quite low. So the increase you see here is the expansion to give people who don't have health care coverage, health care coverage through the Affordable Care Act. Are you aware that if you go under the knife as a Medicaid recipient, you are 13 percent more likely to die than if you had no insurance at all? I don't, I don't know that statistic. Do you th I, mean, I, I, what you I will tell you is that Medicaid. Do you think that's a program that works well? The, me, Medicaid, this is the program that is supposed to Medicaid be provides for the poor. Like health, any, it is, it is the like core any, of like our any social health system. It, excuse it, me, we're claiming my time. It is the core of our social safety net. If anyone needs health care, it's people who can't do it for themselves, who are destitute. And they are 13 percent more likely to die if they have a surgery. So your, your budget would kick 20 million or so people off of Medicaid, would deny coverage for 30 million Americans that will receive it for the Affordable Care no, 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 Act. No, 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 that's so not right. So 50 million no, no, people. Reclaiming my time. 50 million Chairman, people can I have will order, not please? have. Chairman, can I have order? Reclaiming my time. What we do is give flexibility for the state so they can determine who is poor. What Obamacare does is make the middle class take Medicaid. By middle class, by even your definition, sir, sir, is not poor. These programs have to be around for those who need it. 
And you are doing exactly the opposite. I yield back. Your time has expired.